Welcome back to the wasteland. Veronica, are you happy to be back? I know I'm happy to be back. We got Niner here. I'm back. It's been like two weeks. I'm in my new office of fanciness. Roland is, well, you know, displeased as ever. And, oh, tell me he's not out of cigarettes. No, he can't be out of cigarettes. We just picked up some. Yeah, we got a couple cartons on us. So, we'll put that in the ass-kicking button, as always. Cigarettes added. Oh, what? Oh, pack of cigarettes. Cool. So, we got packs. We've got we've got a good stockpile of supplies. Because he's such a damn chain smoker. Bam. Alright, so we were going to explore the Thorn. Now, I know it's been a while since I've done an episode, but I've been moving and all that jazz. Check out the vlog. That kind of give you... Senor Slicer Hands. I love it. I want a green dog that clicks and scares the fuck out of people. We're exploring the Thorn. Yeah, fuck that guy. I don't even know which fiend you're talking about, but it's a fiend, so whatever. Whatever. Oh, let me know, guys, if the audio sounds a little clearer. Because I've changed my setup, and it's now much more direct than I'm talking to the mic without covering up my screen, which is so, oh, so nice. All right, so let's explore the thorn. I don't think I'm going to need my shotgun. I think this is actually part of the town above. Howdy. Don't think I'll make it topside anytime soon. Why don't you that just walk up that the door? Thorn. Yeah, that was, man, you, okay. I don't know what's going on, but all right. Interesting place. Hmm, watch your step. Howdy. Great fighting today. Yeah, what, what are we talking about? Who are you people? Let's find someone who might know what the f is going on. Come to see the fights, or Red Lucy? I'm guessing the lady with the god rays all pointing at her is the one I need to speak to. Very subtle, New Vegas developers. Very subtle. All right, come on. Let's go go chat with, um, I don't know, our savior or something? I'm not sure what his light's up. Red Lucy. I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. Yeah. What do you want? Wow, what is this place? And why do you guys live in a sewer? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. I'd appreciate that. This is the Thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You Fantastic. can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. What do you get be if you warned. win? The Thorn demands That's what I want respect. To know. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see. Damn, you're just a positive lady. All right, then. Tell me more about the Thorn. What do you want to know? What are the rules? The rules are simple. My creatures fight for our pleasure. You can bet on a contender and earn double if you choose the victor. Okay. But you can get a bigger share if you risk your skin in the Thorn. Win a fight, and I'll give you a meaty cut of the earnings. I won't hmm. tolerate anyone that interferes with the fights. Offend me, and your blood will be the next to spill. Okay. Other than that, anything goes. So don't step in if Say Niner wants to jump in there and fight. Hell, I'm, you know what? I'm down. Let's do it. I want to fight in the thorn. Um, and I won't stop you, stranger. Bring the monies in. What's the name of your death wish? I will. Oh, what? All I got a giant mantis. I'll fight a rad scorpion. I'll fight a giant rat. I'm gonna fight a giant mantis. Let's test your metal. Hell How yeah! Many can you take on, stranger? Oh, bring on. Let's bring on two. Confident. I like that. Get to your cage and ready your arm. All right, don't worry, gents. Niner's always got my back. You gonna come with me, dude? Damn, you are a fucking true pal. All right, man. Choose your weapon of choice. All right, gonna go with the SMG. Classic choice. I like it. I like where your head's at. Good thinking. Let's do this. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh shit, man. All right, I'm gonna back you up. You get in there. You take him on. <laughs> let's let's do this. Let's do this. Are you not entertained? 
You know what, Rex has got this. Like seriously. My name is Marcus, I mean John Rowland. I am the victor. I should have fought something stronger than a mantis. Actually, this, this is a hollow victory for us, Niner. Hollow victory. We knew we could take on a mantis. Maybe we should up the stakes. What do you think? Huh? Yeah, let's go check it out. How do we get out of here? Yeah, the, the cheers of the crowd can be heard throughout the wasteland. My ass. Oh, got a little bit of clapping. There's a little cheering going on. Hey, how's it going? All right, come on, let's go fight in a real fight. This was pathetic. This was pathetic sad. And see, there's even a reason to be fighting, to be honest. I kind of wanted the extra caps, if there are any, to be had. Um, hua. Man, there's gonna be a pussy and run around. Yeah. Oh, what the hell, dude? Hey, Veronica, what up? Excuse me. Hey. Maybe Lucy, that's what I do when I get well to Vegas. done, 20 caps? Sure that sure. the that didn't even pay for the ammo. Open the Welcome back, stranger. All right, let's do let's do one more. Tell you know what? Tell me about Westside because I was in the town and they didn't tell me anything. Ask and you might get an Other answer. Other than we like to farm. How do people manage to survive in Westside? Westside attracts all sorts of travelers, including merchants and farmers. They come here to exchange their goods or to seek protection. Our community enough. provides enough food, clothes, weapons, and medicine to encourage trade and to arm our defenses. The Thorn demonstrates, beyond anything else, that we're self-sufficient. Our desert blood has overcome even the strongest beasts of the wasteland. So, is this part of New Vegas? Um, yeah. New Vegas has many faces, stranger. Despite everything, it shall never be whole. When the land hunts you, when fighting for survival is the norm, your neighbors become either saviors or enemies. Westside right. is a part of New Vegas, just as much as it's a part of the wasteland. In the end, stranger, we need them both to continue making our fate. You know, something about the way you talk just irks me. I don't know what it is. All right, let me ask you about something else. I'm listening. Let's talk about the thorn one more time. Actually, no. Tell me about you. What's on your mind? <laughs> My mind's thinking about what I could do with you in private. No, I don't think so. Um. Hmm. That sounds more of a uh, a niner line than a Roland one. I think Roland's a bit too. Too grizzled and just doesn't give a shit at this point. So, uh, how did you become master of the thorn? The thorn is my master, not the other way around. I live to make our kin able to transcend their limitations. Transcend. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our assured fate, striking when least we expect it. The thorn awakens us to the truth All right here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny so you built yourself a meat grinder fantastic before that time comes we have some left to get <laughs> why not bold as it pleases the thorn uh. and me but it does take more than that to earn my admiration you speak like a hunter Yet only actions prove one's worth. All right, then. The thorn requires a tribute of blood. I didn't read that last line, but I'm hitting on her pretty much. In a rolling kind of way. Hey, baby, how about we, uh, how about we shag, huh? Huh? All right. All right, so how can I pay tribute to you? Think I'm you not have paying what it takes? you for sex. Hmm. All right. That's a lot cheaper prove in the town worth, next door. And I'll reward your service. Don't really want it that bad. The thorn needs or, newborn you know, specimens herpes. <laughs> that will one day grow to honor us with their blood. Bring me a dozen giant mantises' eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. So, then where does one find these mantis eggs? You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland. But a wise hunter would search at a mantis's breeding ground, like the nearby ruins of Vault 22. 
Okay. So you got some, uh... We got a vault nearby. That could be good supplies, too. We may have to make a stop, Niner. I'll find your man to You've say. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. All right, you take care. New Don't station. get killed. I'll call it radio. You know, I raided the place. And, uh... Niner, just what the hell are you talking about back here? Have you been talking to the back of my head this entire time? Like, really? Ugh, Niner, sometimes, dude. Sometimes you just... Oh, should we do one more fight, though, before we go? What do you think? Yeah, one more. One more. Welcome back, stranger. Before we head out on the road again. What? Um, I want to fight in the thorn. I want to see. Here. And I. W What's the name of your death wish? The name of my death wish is a giant rad scorpion, and we're gonna take on two of them. Confident. I like that. Get to your cage and ready your arm. One for you and one for me. It's rock and roll. Oh man, you know what I'm gonna do when I take this money right here? Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Cheeseburger. We're gonna find a burger joint. Ah. Ugh. Damn. You know what I need? I need a smoke. Just you know, take a moment out of this crazy shenanigans that we live in these days. Hello. These are heavily armored fucking beasts. Can I just drop him like that? Wow. I'm getting my gun skill up. That's what it is. No, you don't. Yes. That's right. Still a fairly easy victory. I probably wouldn't be happy until I was like half dead when I walked out. Let's roll. What's this way? An inaccessible door. Oh god, guys, I'm so freaking excited with the whole Fallout, the Fallout teasers that have been going on right now. I mean, Fallout 4 is practically, you know, confirmed. We're gonna hear the information soon in December. What's going on? I just I want the details. I want all the details. You know, I'm gonna be talking about it too. As soon as it, well done. As soon as there's information out there, for sure, any information, I will be making videos on the spot. Um, Niner, come on, let's grab Veronica and get going. Aw, just... Yeah, just when it was getting exciting. But yeah, Fallout 4! So, and in the audio clips, you could hear, like, the ocean. So, where would they be on the ocean? There's some speculation they're going back to California. Excuse me. I think the door's this way. There's some, yeah, speculation that they're going back to California, which I'm cool with. I love I the, the, uh, the West Coast, NCR. Um, that requires a key. That's not the way to go. Uh, the NCR and the Legion storylines, I like, you know, the, maybe the remnants of the Enclave, which I know they did all that in this one, but in a new engine that can really handle, oh, it's raining, damn it, Niner. Come on. But I noticed there's no audio for the rain. How about we wait an hour and see what happens? Oh wait, there it goes. It just took a minute to load up or something. So yeah, I just I wonder where it's going to be though. Are we gonna see shady you know, shady sands again? Are we gonna Let's head into town. Now that it's raining, let's head into town and get some lunch. Explore the rest of this town. So the yeah, New Vegas is all blocked off. It's gonna be kind of a pain to get in there. But yeah, where would they be? I mean, I really want to revisit places from one and two. You know, I want that kind of story. I want to follow in the wake of the uh, the original hero, or maybe his grandson or whoever it was from uh, from Fallout Two. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm not against going anywhere else, though. I mean, I thought they should revisit Chicago because brother, what was it? Uh, Brotherhood of Steel just really wasn't that good of a game, and I think Chicago would be a really neat setting. But if they're going to go West Coast, um, San Francisco could be interesting. Uh, the remnants of L.A. could be revisited. I mean, I know they visited it in 2, and it was, well, a giant parking lot. Ah, oh, man. It's going to be dark soon, too. We really need to hurry up. What's this? Easily distracted. Just thinking about Borderlands, they can open these. 
fuck your couch. Wow. There's a little bit of a stutter when I open that. And audio's a bit jacked up. Alright, I don't know what this building is, but we're gonna check it out. And rob their mail. Doors to Wind's hideout. I actually don't know what this is. Hello? Oh, hi. The NCR took back Nelson. Relax. Maybe they can win this war after. We're not gonna attack you. Sammy wins. I've never been in here before. Howdy, Sammy. What are you doing here, stranger? You looking to start some trouble? Nice hat, lady. Uh, no, I'm not actually. It was just raining and I wanted to come indoors. Who are you? Me? I'm Sammy of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal duo. You right. better not mess with us or you'll end up face down in a shallow grave. Wait, you wouldn't even dig a full-on grave for someone you've killed? You're a dick. You sound pretty tough. <clears throat> yeah, okay. I wonder why I've never heard of you. Simple. Up until now, we committed our crimes stealthily, leaving no evidence behind, so we never built a rep. But that's going to change with our next score. You just wait and see. Oh, so what's your plan? You'll have to ask Pauline about that. She's the brains of our operation. I'm the muscle. You are really tall. I'll give see? you that. I mean, I think you're a good, like... Yeah, you're like a foot taller than Roland, and he's not short. So, damn, dude. Someone finally put down that sick camera? motor runner son of a bitch. Yeah, that was me. Hell yeah. Oh, God, your hat just freaks me out. I gotta dip down here so I can see you. You best not try any funny business, stranger. One word from me, and Vance will plant you in the ground. Really? I just walked in with three heavily armed people. Me being one of them. In body armor. All you got is a fancy hat. Now, unless there's about ten tons of dynamite underneath that hat, you guys are screwed if we wanted to take you down. I'm just saying. I'm not going to, but... Who are you? I'm Pauline, of Sammy and Pauline, the Wasteland's most dangerous and notorious criminal couple. You'd best not mess with us, Sammy or you'll have Pauline. a bullet hole where your eye used to be. <gasps> uh, God, Sammy and Pauline, it sounds more like a breakfast nook. Sammy and Pauline's breakfast. Come have some bacon. You sound pretty tough. Why haven't I heard of you two before? We ain't never heard of you either. So the not being impressed is mutual. Come a week or so, though, and everyone will have heard of Sammy and Pauline. Just you wait. You have an oddly shaped head. So what's your plan? Sammy and me got our hands on a powerful weapon not too long ago. Vance's gun. Oh. You know Vance? Of Vance Vicky and Vicky? And Vance. Yeah. That gun's our shot at the big time. We're gonna sneak it in on the strip and rob one of the casinos. Maybe all of them. <laughs> we'll be known as the greatest gunslingers to ever terrorize uh, the wasteland. Except for they never killed anyone. You really haven't... Your plan's gonna get you both killed. You'll see. You'll feel stupid that you made fun of us when you learn how rich we are. Ah, uh, man, you have a stupid-ass plan. So, you're gonna go into the place armed with robots and heavily, you know, heavily armed guards and all the NCR to rob it? So does your face, all right? And Sammy will add a few more if you don't shut up. A few more what? Oh, critical flaws. I get it. I'm gonna go. Later. I'm just gonna scope this place out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a very hard lock. The only way I'll ever get that open is if I kill these two and blow it. See, moral dilemma. One, I want their stuff. Two, I just want their stuff. <laughs> Well, they're going to try to rob a place. That's just going to get them killed. They're not actually going to end up killing anybody. See, morally, I can't just kill them. Even though it would probably save lives. Their own lives if I tried to rob them. My sneak isn't high enough to get in there, though. Ooh, do we have any stealth boys? I think it's an aid item. We do. What do you think? I'm thinking wait till nightfall and I can try to sneak in there. Ah, but I can't open it because I can't take the lock. I can't sneak in there and then set 20 pounds of dynamite to blow the door open. Alright then, we're just going to move on. Maybe they'll try to rob the place while hurt in New Vegas and I can just like wander by and pick up the gun. Oh man. Alright, what's the entrance to this place? Let's fly down to Peru. It's a funny song while it's raining. 
It's food for you. So I'm thinking one these videos are going to be coming out more often now. Um, I'm probably going to do them every Monday at the minimum, uh, but I should have more time to do more. But I'm thinking about doing a let's play of the beta access I have of Sacrifice of Angels, uh, the mod, this the mod Armada Three. It's a Star Trek total conversion, and it's it's stupid amount of fun. I mean, it really is. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, we got sandbags over here. Wow. Thinking we're getting close. Here we go. Howdy. Gentlemen. Recently I met a lady with a giant hat. That sweetie sure is something. Sweetie? This is the west side. Didn't I just come from west side? No. Check the map, see where I am. That's the south entrance. The way. All right, so I've just been exploring this area. There's the thorn. There's that vault 22. I'm not gonna go there yet, though. Some tool factory. Um. All right, let's just walk through. Or should we go north? Ah, let's go back north. I don't want to walk through that town yet. That town's super insanely boring. But I'm thinking about doing. <laughs> love my ADD. I'm thinking about doing, yeah, a let's play of like one game, me playing the Klingon, or the Klingons, me playing the Federation against the Klingon Empire. I think it could be fun. I think it could be cool. It's one of those, one of the rules that I like to live by on my channel, my personal channel, since I'm doing two others, is I gotta do what I enjoy. I mean, that's it. If I'm not doing what I enjoy, then why am I doing it? Honestly. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I my audio recording program like froze up and I thought it crashed. So that would have been bad. Um yeah, but I was talking about just doing what I enjoy and I like Fallout. I love this let's play. I love playing New Vegas. This is how I relax. Um uh, my other videos are fun and they're challenging. Fallout is very I just talk to you guys. I have a good time. I get lost, I get shot at, maybe poisoned, get to explore the world. One of my favorite worlds. And I've, I've got like 400 hours logged into this game, so it's obvious that I really like this setting. And now a new Fallout is coming out. I mean, I'm I'm thrilled. I really am. Have I gone this way? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything down there, though. I don't think so. Ooh, med stuff. So... Let's just grab this. But I have had... There's some people waiting on the Skyrim Let's Play that's been, I've been talking about forever now. Um, and I really want to do that. I want to make this, like, Hunter character that I've been talking about. So I may... Yeah, I may end a chapter here in New Vegas and then start up the Skyrim Let's Play and then, you know, play for a while on that one. And then when I feel like I want to get a change of pace... Because these are normally two games I play at the same time. Um, switch back. Right. Oh, at least the rain stopped. Too bad it's gonna be dark soon. It's gonna be dark in like an hour. Damn, ah, that's not what I wanted. All right, we're in uncharted territory, fellas. Well, ladies and gentlemen. North Vegas Square. All right, let's roll. I need some binoculars. That's what I need. I really hope in the next one you can have multiple weapons equipped. I want to see my rifle on my back and I want to see Rex on my side. I really do. I hope they take more time in adding to the immersion and less to the first person classic, you know, feeling. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hiccup and like I had a little nip of the bottle. Nothing here. Get the bird's eye view of this place. All right, come on. There's nobody here. I really want to get to some kind of cover, or at least get inside uh, the walls of New Vegas before before nightfall. And I've only got about a half hour to go. Okay, I think we're on to something here. Hey, hey. there's the entrance. 
Is that a sewer? North sewers. Alrighty then. Excellent. Before I go in here, how am I doing on caps? Alright. Alright, I got 1,200 caps on me. I think I left some back at the house. Hey guys! Hi. What's up? Welcome to Freeside. Try not to get killed. Good advice, no matter where you are. Watch yourself around here. If you're heading to the strip, just go through the gate there. I noticed you guys have the same haircut. I'm digging it. I actually like it. Nice jacket too, by the way. The Kings. Don't know who you guys are, but keep on keeping on. You gotta keep on keeping on. My pit boy light on? No. No, there's a fire right there. Howdy, gents. Hey. What's up, man? This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. Whoa! Well, how did you do that? Your voice, like, changed. This man's prices are steep, but I hear he's worth it. Hey, what's up, Oris? Moving in sync. This gentleman and I were just settling on a price. I'm afraid you'll have to hire one of the others Six, this get time around. Smoke. Oh, oh. Can hear the thunder. You want to travel to Freeside with ease, you hire a king. We're everywhere, and no one messes with us. Yeah? Your safety is practically guaranteed for just 100 caps. Well, I'm the new guy in town. I got the caps to spare. Just tell me a little more information. Why do I need a bodyguard around here? Freeside's Oops. a little dangerous for people traveling alone or in small groups. Too many times. You go without a guard, you're rolling the dice, you know? Well, I know I can handle myself, but a tour guide would be nice. You want to travel through Freeside? Your safety is... Yeah, here you go. Great. As long as you're in Freeside, I'll be hanging out by side. It'll be a blast. But I'm only sticking around as long as you're in Freeside. You leave, and you'll find me gone as well. So where to? Alright, man. Well, welcome to the party. You know. Kind of got a... An entourage now. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, what the... F is that? Oh no. Uh, ooh, scroll on a stick. Man. Dude, your scroll on the stick's gonna get wet. Not that it would actually hinder the taste, I'm sure. Need some grub? I got you covered. Cheap and filling. Nah, I ain't that poor. You'll be back. Not yet. Not for a while, actually. I haven't been that poor in a while. Hey, it's the old Mormon fort. I remember I was going here for a reason. I don't remember what it was, though. I love this texture pack. I'm using the high-res one, too. Maybe they'll let us stay for the night, seeing how it's gonna be, you know, raining soon. Check it out. Look at these webs. Rehab is for quest. <laughs> yes, it is, Niner. That's why we're here. Surprise intervention. Now get clean, or we will kill you. Why? What are you scowling for? Is it because we're in a rehab clinic? All right, then he stopped. He's always so damn angry. At least he looks angry. Uh, your guard. Howdy. Howdy. So who are you? I've been around a while. No shit. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. Beatrix. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. Sorry to hear that. Hell, I'll drink with you. Bet you've seen a lot over your years. I've been around long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Oh. You sound like a bit of a dom, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> ah, so what are you doing with the followers? I like her. She's I joined up looking for a decent paying job. Right on. Granted, the pay's all right. 
but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. Now that sucks. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, what do you have in I'll mind? I'll slip you a couple bottles if you know I get a chance. You got any advice to share? Feed a man for free, and he'll be back asking for more. Feed a man a bullet, you won't hear from him again. <laughs> I like that advice. What else the you got? The only thing I know for certain is that I don't know nothing. Good advice. Alright. Goodbye, Talk Beatrix. To you later. I mean, hey, if you're into that kind of thing, whatever floats your boat, you know? Hello. I meant the dominatrix subdom thing, not the the ghoul thing. I mean, that's whatever. Yeah, you float your boat, rub your Buddha, What's go up? for it. Oh my God, your hair is awesome. What's up? Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm not dropping off anything. So you guys tell me what's up. I met a kid who's unsatisfied with life. The great cons. We take him on as follower. We're always looking for new members. Does he have any particular talent? <laughs> He's a poet. Sort of. Kind of. Ah, uh, yeah. He's obviously a bright, sensitive soul and loves literature. Excellent. Ezekiel's been after me to find him a new assistant for ages. Tell the boy we'll take him. That means I gotta get him out here without getting him, you know, killed by fiends. That's a fun trip. We can do that, though. So what is this place? Tell me a little bit about the fort. The old Mormon fort serves as the regional hub for the followers of the apocalypse. I am the administrator for this region. Oh, wow. So who are the followers of the apocalypse? I'm kind of curious how far your, your you know, reach stretches. We arose from the boneyards of Adidam years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to rebuild the wasteland and re-educate its inhabitants. We hope to forge a brave new world free of war and poverty by sharing knowledge and resources. Our primary goal is the free exchange of ideas. It's a lofty goal for sure. Um, I guess there's worse things you could be doing in the wasteland. So what do you do here specifically? The followers of the apocalypse aren't just interested in research. Okay. We care for our fellow man and do everything we can to help humanity. Here in Freeside, we provide food and medical services for those in need. We also have organized reconstruction efforts. With the help of Bill Ronte, we were able to install a water pump just west of here. Bill Ronte. But the kings quickly took control of the pump. Really? This what do you want to talk about? The dude I hired to give me a tour. Well, things, <laughs> things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in wow. dire need, but no one has hole. been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Well, is there anything I can do to help out? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. All right. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things yeah, go Yeah, it's an uh, NCR problem. Well... You know what I'd like to do is talk to the leadership here. Maybe talk to them great cons. I'm gonna put that on my list too, but tell me a little bit about helping these, uh, these addicts. We'll start with something small and work our way up. Yes, old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. You see the guy that's got the They're water working? They're not going working? to kick their habits on their own. All right, so Bill Ronte got your water up and running. Tell me about that guy. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. All right, tell me about Jacob. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. 
Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural <laughs> chemist. So wait, he used to... Wow, okay. He used to homebrew detox stuff, and now he's hooked. Alright, so where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. I'm gonna start kicking in doors so I find out who's supplying them. Maybe fix the problem there. All right, I'll see what I can do to help. Good Sobering luck. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. What do you want to talk about? All right, good luck. Hey, I'm gonna look around here and try to find this Bill guy. Whoa, whoa, lady, come on. I'm having a meeting with my people. So, give me a minute. Howdy. Hello. Hey, you're a doctor. Uh, what's in here? Gambler. Gambler. Guard. Da! Dude. Help but be I don't even what they're doing here. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's gonna rain. What up? Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a researcher. Not even a particularly good one. <laughs> oh, yeah? What kind of research you doing? Oh, you know, finding alternative treatments for common illnesses and injuries. Stim packs, out-of-barrel cacti, and other fantastic improbabilities. As far what? as fruitless wastes of time go, it's quite noble in its aims. Wow, so you don't sound too enthusiastic about your situation. I'm enthusiastic about helping people, but nihil no way soup so late. Nia, what now? Oh, sorry. There is nothing new under the sun. If agave and mesquite were that miraculous, the locals would have figured it out a few thousand years ago. Where'd you learn that at? Not from the Legion, if that's what you're getting at. Books, sheet music, gladiator movie holotapes, <laughs> bits and pieces here and there. Are you not detained? The followers have extensive libraries, but we all draw water from the same old well. Even Caesar. Well, Mr. Arcade, I've got some around. more work to do here, hey, but, uh, whoa. you got a second? I do. What's up? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But All until right. recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. I was wondering what's been on your mind. You've been quiet for a while now. All right, well, we'll go as a group. We'll take you back there first chance we get. First, we gotta help Freeside out. Uh, they've been around for quite a long time. They'll last another few months or so. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you, seriously. <laughs> that would be nice. Evening. Uh, come on, where are you, Mr. Bill? I don't think you're hiding in any of the barrels. Roy. Hi, Roy. What's up? You can't talk to Roy. You can't talk to Ferris. Or Batman. So. Hey. Howdy. Sorry, I just ran into your huge tracks of land. Um, you're a doctor. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. All right, now I'm just lost. I Maybe they're not in here. She didn't actually say where he was, did she? Hey, question for you. Welcome. Where's Bill at? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. See, that's what I'm talking about. I want to talk he to the leaders the of this place get this shit straightened and out. Some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. Yeah. I tried to speak to both sides to no avail. All right, then. Let me look at this real quick. Quest. Find Jacob Hoff, find Bill Ron. Okay, so they're not here. Hello. See, that's, uh, that's another example of not having, you know, it's poor quest design is what it is. I can't just talk to the person, get enough information to actually go find them. No, I gotta use my magic compass, which I apparently have the compass. Oh, that isn't he supposed to be watching our backs? He just ran away. 
Yeah, I have this. I have the magic compass from um. Ah, oh, what's that? The pirate movies, Pirates of the Caribbean. Tells you always where you want to go, even though she never said where he was. Now I can just like follow my compass. Now I could scavenge this whole place and look for him, but you know, just a basic. He's normally seen in this area. We're not even allowed to sell people only at Mick and Ralph's. Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. Yeah, maybe later. That's just one of those things that I never I never cared for. Really good about it in Morrowind. You know, Morrowind had some great quest design where if they wanted to be vague, they could be vague. Here we go. Let's get some shit handled, all right? Let's find out what the hell's going on in the leadership of this town. You got any problems with me going in here? The squatters have been more and more troubled. Good. Don't really care. I'm still going in. <sighs> Leadership of this place has gone to shit. There we go. Keep Betsy equipped. I've heard that some of the bosses, the fiends were killed. Wouldn't be surprised if the NCR had something to do with it. They what did. do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Yes, I'd like to see the king if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Seriously? Here's five. Here's 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. Head on through. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. The bored looking guy at the stage. What in the robo dog? Ugh. All right, guys, I need you to sit here. I'm gonna have this meeting. I can't have you guys like Should've brought some humping his leg. Howdy. Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. Oh, that sucks. I'm the king. What can I do for you? Do you always charge people that come talk to you? Charge? <laughs> Pays must be added again. What did he take you for? Fifty caps, man. That's pays for you. He means well, but he doesn't like strangers. Here, to make amends. Now, oh. what can I do for you? All right, then. I honestly didn't expect that. I figured you might have some work for me, because that's what I came here to talk to you about. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, is the body you armor and favor, the 20 guns will stretch my back? For you when it's done. Maybe. Sound good? <laughs> will it be dangerous? I like dangerous. In that case, some of the things I need handled will be right up your alley. Fantastic. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? That I did. Sure, I've gotten one waiting outside for me. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Free size not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my men tell me that one of those bodyguards is getting a suspiciously large amount of business. Hmm. The man's name is Oris, and everyone who hires him specifically requests him when they return. I want you to find out why. Maybe he's just really good at his job. I want you to hire him. He's usually covering the northern gate. Then I want you to head for the southern gate. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Yeah, sure, why not? I can do that. Okay, Get a little trust Once here. The guy did pay me back here. for the money they I'll bribed out of me. To hearing your report. So. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. All right. You guys hear this? What exactly are you doing up here other than looking stoned and staring at your own hand? All right. So that was a thing. You guys aren't at full health. Okay, let's move. Come on, Niner. Veronica. Aw. I'm looking forward to heading to the Brotherhood of Steel bunker. I think that's gonna be lots of fun. I'm a big fan of the Brotherhood of Steel. The concept of them is is interesting. That and I've had the, the super nostalgia from Fallout One and Two. I mean, I can't help myself. Um. Right. Where am I going? Uh, oh, to hire the dude. 
I thought I was supposed to have a bodyguard. He's not even here anymore. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Hey, baby. Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler if you want to have a good time. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fallout 4, please give me good character models. You want someone the dead? Wrangler, really the dead? Cheaper, stop by the this table's more friendly, and, we'll and the women are just like the booze. Hmm. Does space meaning anything to you, lady? <laughs> yeah. Veronica, what are you doing? As the Wrangler. Well, you know what? It's getting late. Let's get into the Wrangler, have a couple of drinks, relax, and uh, we will start this up in the morning, shall we? Niner's like, fuck yeah! Booze and women. Woo! Hello. God damn, look at that snake. Ah, uh, you're a bigot, ain't you, fella? Stop! <laughs> Really? Six That's the line. Let's have a little chat. What's up? Ah, fuck it. Now it's getting kind of late, so I understand that. Hey, I need a room. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? In room, please. Just a few caps and it's yours. As so we can get off all this gear and relax for a bit. Up the steps, last room on the left. If you leave the Wrangler, we'll assume you're checking out. Really? Till next time. Can't even leave here. Well, at least we don't need to go anywhere or get anything. We should have some supplies for the night. So, you know what, you guys? Dude. What's up? Go ahead. Wait here okay. a while, entertain yourself, have some fun. We're going to be here okay. for the rest of the night. Same with you, Veronica. What's up? Oh, because I don't have the companion mod that lets you actually tell them to relax. That's just a thing Niner can do. All right, you should have brought here. something to read. Yeah, you probably should have. And Niner's like, fuck it, I'm going to play the slot machines. Can I play the slot machines? Oh, yeah, right. All right, guys, well, we're going to spend the night here. And I will see you guys in the morning, or the possibly or late not. tonight. Hey. Broke off our asses. Good riddance. It's been a while since Roland and his, his cohorts have relaxed and had a good time. All right, guys. Have a good one.